What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Crypto for You. My name is Tony, and today we're looking at Bitcoin, the broad overview, because Bitcoin currently is breaking out of this huge bull flag that we've been talking about for almost the whole year, guys. We've entered this bull market back in March, where we made our all-time high at seventy-three thousand eight hundred, and ever since have been in this low decline until now, when we have just broken out of this bull flag. And now the question is, where are we gonna go, and how long could it take? So I just want to give you guys a broad overview view on the bull market itself give you guys some theoretical places where bitcoin could stop at where it could go to and how long this bull market will last so let's just start off with giving you guys real quick the target of this bull flag because now that we're breaking out of this bull flag this is the beginning of verticality I don't think that this was the last leg for Bitcoin. I don't even think this was the huge vertical movement that everybody talks about when Bitcoin has a huge pump like this, for example. I think that this bull flag that we have just made proves that Bitcoin has not even entered its verticality movement. I think it's entering this leg right now. I think we were just about right here. And currently, we're right over here, right before the verticality starts. Bitcoin's about to break past its all-time high and it's gonna go on a vertical movement to huge all-time highs never have heard of but the reason i believe we're in this point right over here this point where bitcoin was just going up and down sideways for a while is because that's exactly what we are do we were doing right now you can grab a line like this draw it on the top and then draw a resistance and support one at the bottom, one at the top. And you can see that we were in a, around the same exact bull flag if you just calculate it like this. And this bull flag, of course, we went way past its target. But we can also calculate its target. And its target took us all the way up back up to 16,000. But here's the thing. We didn't stop there. That actually became our support, which we confirmed support at multiple times. First, when Bitcoin was going up. And second, when Bitcoin fell down from $69,000, we fell to around $16,000, where we stopped. That was a target of the bull flag. And this brings me back to what we're doing right now. Bitcoin, I think, is in the same exact position where we were back over here in 2020, when we just broke out of the bull flag. Now, what happened over here? We pumped a bit. We fell down, confirmed support, which made us really bullish, and then we had a slow increase at first, but then we had a crazy, massive vertical movement to all-time highs. And this, by the way, was such a high level, nobody could predict it. If we calculate the pump that happened at first, that takes us from, from 3,000, the bottom of the previous bull market before that one, to the top of this 13,000 movement, and use a Fibonacci extension, we can see that Bitcoin went to more than five times more than its first leg. We actually went 5.3 times more than its first leg movement. So if we decide to go five times more for any reason than our previous leg from 15,000 all the way to 70,000, then we go all the way up to 350k. So 350k. Now, some people may think that's absurd, but remember, nobody thought that Bitcoin, which had a previous all-time high at 20k, would go all the way up to $69,000. Think about you in that position. Nobody thought that. And the best thing to do in a bull market is to look at the Fibonacci extensions. Now, another thing in the Fibonacci extension that's really cool that I really respect about it is that it can tell us not just the 5x, but it can tell us the 1.618, the 2.618, the big levels where Bitcoin could theoretically stop at. And one of these levels is the all famous 150k that everybody's talking about. So if we do go up somewhere, it's going to 150k minimum. 150k is the target of a lot of things. It's where everybody's prediction is because of the supply and demand. But one thing is that the target will take us much farther than the target of the bull flag. So 150K will happen. It might not happen instantly, but it will happen. And that's the first target. The next target after that is around 200K. Well, for me, it's actually when I calculated this first, it was $212,000. $212,000, that is the second target for Bitcoin to go to. And of course, after that, we have the higher levels that we could go up, but I'll just keep these two. 150K, 200 13,000, and then 350K. These three levels are the three targets that Bitcoin could easily go to. And that's because Bitcoin always does a big five-wave move. We always have verticality, so we always can have a huge pump. And this movement that we could do will, of course, 
not be as big percentage wise as the previous bull market, but it can still be a four times more movement than our first leg. Remember, we haven't entered verticality yet. Actually, we are in such a good position right now that if Bitcoin goes anywhere, it's all the way up to 350,000. Of course, we could stop at every single level. This current bull flag that Bitcoin has takes us to 100K. We could stop at 100K, have a little correction, scare off a ton of bears or a ton of people that think that that's the all-time high, and then go up to 150K. Everybody thinks that the all-time high, fall a, bit, fall a bit, go up to 212K. 212K could be the top, or if we break 212K, by a certain time period, we can go all the way up to 350. But what's the time period? Why does it depend? Well, I found something really interesting about Bitcoin, and that's that if we open up the Bitcoin halvings, and we just look at the history of Bitcoin, every year there's a four-year cycle with the halvings, and we can always correlate Bitcoin's pumps to where it is inside of the halving. What everybody says is that as soon as the halving happens, Bitcoin pumps, which it does shortly after. We have, a, of course, an all-time high. We have a correction in the second half or the second third of the basically halving cycle, and then we start the bull market all over. But using a GAN box and just separating each consecutive bull market into its own time box, we can see something really interesting. And that's number one, when we reach the 25% mark between the previous halving and the next upcoming halving, we have a small correction. And until then, we have like this huge pump, but then we have a small correction where we scare off a ton of people. Now we say small, but this correction fell 40%. So that was a 40% correction in the middle of a bull market. And after that, we went up and we made an all-time high at 20K, which happened at our almost perfectly at the 0 0.382, which is 38%, 38.2% from the first halving to the next halving. And then we have a bear market. And that bear market falls from 0 0.382 all the way down to 0 0.618, the golden ratio. For some reason, we always stop at the golden ratio. And then, of course, we start all over. And the part between the golden ratio to the next halving, that's consolidation, that's regaining Bitcoin's bearings so that it can continue with its next verticality movement after the halving once again. Let's take that model that I just told you guys and plot it onto the next bull market that happened. If we take the same time box and just split up the bull market into different sections, we can see that once again, we reached the 25, we started pumping right after the halving, a couple months after. We went till the 25%, we went up, and of course we fell, and this pump with this crash, of course, was a lot lower percentage. Actually, no, it was 55%, I'm wrong. We actually, we fell 55%, scaring everybody. But we went straight back and made a new all-time high at the 0.382 level before falling down till the around the 0.618 level, the golden ratio, 61% of the way, and then... Where are we right now? Regaining our bearings. We are not done falling. I mean, we're not done pumping it. This is just the beginning. And so I plotted the next Bitcoin halving over here, and it's estimated to be in April of 2028. And so if we grab our time box and we plot it from this to the next halving, we can see that we're only halfway to the zero to the 24, 25% level. It's 25% mark, which means we still have a lot of verticality that can happen until the 0 0.25 level. So if anything, we go and we will be pumping till the 0 0.25 level, which means the date that we will be having verticality could go all the way up to around May or April of 2025 of next year. So what we're about to do right now could last four or five months. We can have four or five months of straight pumping, which is around what happened last bull market. As Bitcoin gets bigger, we have longer bull markets and longer bear markets and less percentage, of course, but it still follows this GAN time box generally. So this pump that we could have could take us to around 212K or $322,000. But depending on where we are, when the 25% level is, could mean that we could go even higher to the next level. If we stop at 212K by the time we reach 25%, we could have a, maybe a correction down to 150K and continue up to 350 or $400,000. We can't perfectly predict what's going to happen. 
But what we can do is perfectly is start to predict when it's going to happen. And so using time to our advantage, what we can see is that Bitcoin looks like it can go easily to 215K. It can go easily to 380K. And you don't need to worry about this happening tomorrow. Of course, it's better for you to invest right now. But if you invest now, don't be worrying about having to sell tomorrow. We will be having a rally up. And even if we go to 350K, we will have a crash, but that won't be the end of the Bitcoin bull market. We will have another pump up to the 0.382, which means the all-time high is around the fourth quarter of 2025. And that's when the bear market's going to start. And so 0.25%, which is April of 2025, that's our first end of the huge verticality movement. And then what we do is what we did back in 2021. We have a crash and we, of course, stay in this area for a long time before starting a bear market. That's the broad overview. That's what Bitcoin is doing. Now, in the short term, it's going to be the next video, guys. I'm not going to talk about the short term in this video. Here's the long term outlook for Bitcoin. Don't be worried. Bitcoin's going to go up to 215K, 350K, and it's going to happen by April 2025. And the all-time high could happen all the way in October of 2025. We still have a long ways to go. But remember, invest now so you don't miss it. Not financial advice. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this long video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you guys enjoyed the next video. I'll see you in it. Bye.